What Mr. Ian Young is about to do on the Scripps Pier here is so old school, so out of the past, it's surprising to learn it's still done at all. Ian is an aquarist with the Birch Aquarium and every day for more than a hundred years, somebody like Ian has come out onto this pier to do a bit of old style science. First thing, he stops and for exactly one minute, he just watches the water. I got six waves. Six waves, okay, he'll make a note of that. On now to a building near the end of the pier, which from all the probes and antennas on it looks completely suited to the 21st century. But what he'll do today is definitely, well, retro. There's not many studies out there that have been doing it for about 100 years like we have. That's right, Ian could have been standing on this pier preparing to do the exact same thing a hundred years ago because you see, while the pier here at Scripps Institution has high technology to constantly monitor the ocean water temperature and instantly send that information around the world, they also still measure it, as we're about to see, in the old way. Yeah, we're basically gonna go inside our lab station over here and I'm gonna take some water samples. by hand, exactly as it's been done at exactly this spot since 1916, Dr. John McGowan says. I'm very proud of the fact that this is a low-tech operation. <laughs> since 1916, every day, think of that, whatever the weather, doesn't matter, someone has come out here, pulled out the paper records and a pencil, and performed one of the oldest precisely duplicated ocean science rituals on Earth. There's very few data that go this far back in time that are this accurate and this trustworthy. There are two temperatures sampled. The first is near the surface. A container is lowered to capture some water. When it's pulled back up, the temperature is taken. So 19.51, that's the uh, degrees in Celsius of the water temperature at the surface. Ian writes it down, by hand of course, 19.51 Celsius, a little over 67 degrees. Then some of the water is put in a sealed jar to test for salinity, that's the salt content, all just as it's been done every day since the time of the First World War. And maybe you're wondering, if Scripps has got data streaming from other real-time sensors, why keep doing this? You know, we've been asked that question a lot. Why not automate the whole thing? Well, because it would change the nature of the kind of measurement made. We wanted to make exactly the same measurement so we could compare our data with that taken 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago. Back inside the lab, Ian is taking the bottom temperature now. That's trickier. The container is lowered down. And then a weight is dropped down the connecting rope. The weight triggers the container to close, and in the process, some bottom water is captured. Meantime, Dr. Reinhard Flick, who's a research associate at Scripps, drops in to check on a tide gauge adding to the measurements of sea level taken from this exact spot since 1925. It provides one of the longest uh, time records of ocean elevation on the west coast. All this data gathered in the old way it always has been is not some homage to nostalgia. This is serious science. Articles in scientific journals and PhD theses have used the data generated here. And doing these samples just the same way has shown that yes, over a century, our ocean here has become warmer and it's also fresher, that is less salty than it was in 1916. These uh, measurements here and the departures from the long-term average are uh, highly correlated with what goes on in the rest of the California current and what goes on in the whole Pacific Ocean. So actually we're measuring global change here at Scripps Pier. Dr. McGowan, Professor Emeritus at Scripps, who first came here as a student in 1953, is in his 90s now. He knows there are newer and faster ways to take these readings, but he also knows what a hundred years of daily data from an unchanging source is worth. More than a century of the staff here doing the science in the same old school way. Christmas and, and holidays, stormy weather, you bet, because they're dedicated. They think they're doing something important, and it turns out they are. You feel like you're a part of tradition? Definitely, yeah. Definitely feel like I'm tradition. It's kind of an honor to be uh, doing something like this.
It may be the old way of doing things, but every day since 1916, it's added something new to what we know about our ocean and about San Diego. That was fun. And you know, there are more stories about San Diego to be seen. Would you like to know how to see them? All you have to do is click on that subscribe button right there, and then you will know when there are more stories ready to be seen about San Diego.